going on guys? Zach here, Southern Lunar Retrievers, and welcome to another episode of Sick of Gear Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a piece of the everyday line. I want to keep an open mind with these, okay? I, I, I'm really a fan of their everyday line. Obviously I love their, their hunting line, but I'm a fan of their everyday line. And this is one of the few pieces of, sh you know, one of the first kind of shorts that Sicka really put out. So if you couldn't tell, I'm talking about no other than the Territory shorts. So I picked up a pair of these not too long ago. Obviously I do a review, but I wanted to really see if they were, you know, anything comparable to their hunting line uh, in terms of material, in terms of durability. And uh, I mean, it's an everyday line, so I really want to see, you know, what they're contributing in that factor. You know, their, their jackets and their tops and their athletic gear and their hunting gear is all spot on, but I really wanted to see if they were going to really make a staple in the everyday line with pants and shorts. Let's take it right off the website and we'll go from here. The Territory Short, priced at 89 bucks, comes in shadow and sandstone. <clears throat> Built for active warm weather performance, the Territory Shorts, perfectly fitted, durable nylon spandex stretch, provides comfort and a free range of movement for steep hikes and hours on the trail. Now, I haven't taken this hours on the trail. Um, I have worn it on nice warm days here. We're still in, you know, beginning of March. Now, what's nice about them is they do have really uh, specific sizes online. Like for me, I'm one of the weird ones. I'm, I'm at 33 regular. And it's literally like, it, I don't have to wear a belt with these. And that's what's nice. Um, I do always like to wear a belt, but if I didn't have one, these would fit perfectly. So if you have a specific size, they fit exactly that size, at least from what I've experienced here. So we'll start from the top, work our way down. Shouldn't be too crazy. Uh, they have a nice actual metal button or a tin button. I can't really see. It looks just metal to me. Um, but I have seen shorts that have had tin buttons on them still. Older style, but definitely uh, still effective. So we have here, instead of a very flimsy, just using uh, a thread to hold on your actual button here, they have that nylon uh, double stitched and it looks like one, two, and double layered wrapped through the actual buckle. And I was really impressed with that because a lot of, a lot of shorts, a lot of pants that have that feature, they snap off a lot. And uh, guys learn to sew real easily. Their belt loops are very tough. Uh, they don't really have much give. I mean, not that many do, but let's put it this way. I, I had the uh, uh, Dakota pants and I wore them for the year and one of these loops busted off. And if you've ever worn Dakota pants, you know they kind of have a different material. It's a little more stretchy. These not so much, um, at least not in the belt loop. So uh, very sturdy belt loops, which I like. As per usual, we have our dog ear uh, pockets, which I'm a big fan of on both the left and right side. What I always like about Sick of Gear's pants is the little, uh, 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 the little more added material here, the little uh, pocket knife notch that they put on both sides. It's just a different material, a little bit tougher to take the constant uh, the, the sliding clip on your actual pocket knife. And that is on both sides, left and right. Moving to the back, we have our standard two left and right butt cheeks, uh, but, or excuse me, butt cheek wallet pockets. Above that, on the left side, we have a second pocket, which is zipper enclosed, and it's simply just lined with the mesh. So if you like carrying your wallet, uh, and having a little bit more security than just putting in an open pocket, this is for you. In terms of length, so they go down to, I'm about 5'10", 195 pounds. They go down to, you know, just above my kneecaps. Um, so they're, they're, they're a good short to go, you know, uh, if you're going out on a date or, you know, if you're just kind of going out and, and not, you don't want to look like you're wearing sports shorts all the time. They're actually not that bad. I'm definitely gonna have to experiment with how many times I wear these and where I wear them. But honestly, they're just a straightforward. It's not like they flash the logo anywhere crazy. I mean, honestly, the only place that I've seen it is just on the actual loop in your pants. So, in terms of material and feel, 
very soft, uh, especially on the inside, soft from the inside. The outside is like that water resistant uh, shell material almost, but just a little bit more. It does have some stretch, you guys can see. So it's not bad. I mean, honestly, for, for shorts uh, and how they made this, especially how they have a lot of give in the crotch there, uh, where a lot of shorts will just kind of be rigid and down. Um, it's definitely meant for movement. One of the other features as we move down the leg, uh, left, left pant leg is just by itself. The right pant leg has a, just another pocket. Looks like you could put a pocket knife if you really wanted to uh, down in here. It's just kind of one of those general utility pockets. Like I said with the logo, there's one inside and then they just have one uh, really subdued logo, very low profile uh, on the right, well it's on that utility pocket. Standard stitching all the way around, um, and I'm not going to get into much more detail guys, it's very straightforward. I mean they're a nice looking pair of shorts, um, I want to see what they're capable of. So rating wise, I'm going to give them a 4, 4.5. There's a lot of unknowns about these shorts, and I don't feel like a lot of people have really reviewed them um, like I am now. But Territory Shorts, guys, give them a look online. If you guys have had them, take them through anything crazy, put them in the comments below. Let me know if you like them or you don't like them. But please subscribe to the channel so we can keep these reviews coming. You guys have a good day. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. We're out. Try to catch me at the moon.